This week on Garage Land, we're talking to Lullaby Orchestra. That's a two-person couple band uh, featuring Justin Small and Cat Taylor. They formed band-wise, anyway, in 2001. Uh, Justin Small, you might know from the band Do Make Say Think. Excellent band. And they released Amp Grave on Constellation Records in 2006. And since then, the band's gone through tons of changes. Basically, they toured and realized they'd way rather just be a two-piece because they could be way heavier and way faster. And now they're releasing Threats Worship on Vice Records, and it's way heavier and way faster than Amp Grave. So we're going to talk to them about that and a little bit about the concept of Threats and Worship. That in super slow motion, uh, and then, <laughs> but then, like the record playing. At the same time. Oh like, yeah, it's gonna be weird. And, we're just gonna be like, yeah, and then he winks cool. at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> and that'll be the video. So we're good. <laughs> we're done. All right, we're thanks done everybody. Yeah. <laughs> are we are we rolling with fresh tape now? We're rolling. We have so much. You guys can talk for like. All right, all yeah. right. <laughs> What's that in your hand? <laughs> it's my microphone. Oh, no, hey. Ampgrave took a, a lot more to put together. Like, it took two years to put together. And I think once we f finished it and, and it was an actual record, we had to play it live. But uh, we didn't have the resources of the extra instrumentation that we had put on that record to make it happen live. So we started a kind of, we did a European tour of it just as a two piece. And sort of what came out of it was a more focused and raw sound that we you know really enjoyed and, and we just never called those guys back like we never called back the horn players or the like we had 20 people guest on maybe even more like guest on amp grave and we have one guest on on threats worship and it's chris callahan from cursed threats worship is a album a performance album it yeah. was it, these are performances that we were like we like that take the record being threats worship and then sort of individual songs being being broken down, at least in sort of what I had seen, is like a threat, or a, worship. a threat or a worship. I wanted to throw out a few different things and see if we could put them in the category of threat sure. or worship. Yeah, totally. Dawn of the Dead, the original George Romero version. Ooh, worship. worship. Our video for We Fuck the Night, if this is a segue into of which, you know, a, a, clip, of our, a clip of our video gets played now. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> with, yeah, yeah, with a soft focus bubble. We. <laughs> Paranoid by Black Sabbath. Oh, worship. Worship. Absolutely. Yeah, totally, yeah. Okay, how do I play bass? I know. I list, I just learn Black Sabbath riffs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Early and, on, we used to call yeah. ourselves uh, the, the Sabbath ry rhythm section. Basically. Like, you know, yeah. He's a butler, Bill Ward. I'm Bill Ward. Like, I love We Bill like to Ward. think that anyway yeah. in our heads. Tacos. Worship. worship. We just, yeah. had, we just went to you Taco missed, El Sador. You missed it. We have burritos. Well, uh, we finished we, them already. We got to <laughs> say Toronto, Taco El Sador. Hot tacos, cold beer. Clinton and ba uh, Bluer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'll never guess who in this backyard right now doesn't like their tacos. But I'll give you a hint. It's not anyone who's on camera right now. <laughs> I was a little worried about uh, like how I was going to segue into the part of the interview where I just wanted to talk about Mariah Carey. How about right now? But you guys did it for me. Yeah. 